This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. More on that in a second. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I am not feeling too well. If I seem a little uh, off, it's because I'm about 99% sure I caught the Rona and that's not a cool flex of 2020, you know? Both of my brothers have it, so I'm assuming I do. I don't live with them, so there's still that off chance that I might not, but I had been there for the past couple weeks, you know, here and there, so... I'm just assuming I do because I feel like straight ass right now. So anyways, today we're just going to sit back, relax. I'm going to take a look at some subscriber cars, let you know my opinion on them, and we'll just chill. I had another video lined up, but again, I don't feel too good, so we're just going to have to wait for that video. First car to start things out is a nice looking high schooler's car. I'm just assuming he's in high school just because I feel like everyone in high school has one of these Honda Civics, or at least at one point they do. This one on the exterior is looking very nice underneath the hood. He got a little bit carried away with the red spray paint and the red silicone hoses, but nothing too bad underneath the hood. Luckily, we don't see a bunch of ugly pool noodles, and uh, I ain't seeing no VTEC. I'm not sure if I'm blind, but this don't look like the B16 or B18 VTEC motor that I'm familiar with. I'm also not a Honda guy, so I'm not familiar with many things Honda, but my brother did have an Integra, and it was a really fun car. The exterior of this car, I like what he's done. He didn't do anything stupid. We got some nice wheels. We don't have any stupid camber. He didn't do anything ridiculous with like a giant wing. Interior, we have bride seats. Hopefully, they're real. I understand if they're not, though, because it is a Honda Civic. Aftermarket steering wheel, quick disconnect. This picture, I actually like a lot. It looks really nice and uh, wet here. It looks really clean. Next car is a Ford Focus ST. I love Focus STs. I love their interior. I think they're a really fun car. If you want something front wheel drive with a turbo, I, I recommend this car. Homeboy looks like he's got some aftermarket wheels. Nice fitment, just shit wheel gap. Like it looks like it's really flush, but you gotta lower that bitch down. Looks like you're about to go off-roading in this thing. It ain't the Focus RS, it's the Focus ST. Let's be real here, this ain't a rally car. Pumping it up with the red handle. I'm assuming the red means it's faster, so that's cool. Great looking focus, pretty simple and basic, but overall nice looking car. This is something you don't see every day. A Subaru without a Cobb sticker. Boxer baddies, wow. This better be lady driven. If, if you're a dude and you have that on your windshield, man, that's, that's a little sus right there. Giant battle arrow mounted wing to his hatch. We have a gigantic diffuser looking really aggressive, but I just hope he has the performance to back it up. It looks like he's on air ride, he's really low. I don't think he'd be static that low because that diffuser would be missing right after the first puddle he comes across. It looks aggressive. I'm happy I don't see a Cobb sticker. I just hope he's got some work done underneath the hood. Riser and Eyes, 2017 Chevy Camaro. He said, yes, it is a V6. Well, you're already starting on the bottom of the totem pole. At least it's not the four banger, but still at that point, I think the four banger and the V6 are like neck and neck in performance. At that point, might as well just get the four banger. Quad tip exhaust, letting everybody hear those three cylinders on each side. Send nudes. I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, you're pretty bold asking for nudes with a six cylinder. That lady would have to be pretty damn lonely to send you nudes. No offense. I like the ZL1 style wing. The louvers are kind of cool if it was a V8. Just part of it being a V6 just kind of, you know, takes away from the whole aggressive part of it. It's like, yeah, it looks like a sick Camaro. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, I know what's underneath the hood. And what's underneath the hood, and it's an automatic. What's underneath the hood and in the interior. It's just kind of like, ouch. It's a great car. Great daily driver. But, I mean, I don't think you're going to be winning too many races in this thing. Drew, V6 Camaros make great track cars. Yeah, but typically if you're buying a V6 Camaro, you're not going to the track. And if you want a really great track car, buy the Z01-1LE. Buy the SS1LE. He didn't butcher it. I'll give him props. I like the wheels, actually. Next car, Ford Mustang 5.0. And this one actually is here. This one got the supercharger right there. Four all them bald eagles into the hood. It's got that Roush blower right there. It's Roush charged, okay? Says it's making about four, five, my bad, 650 horsepower. Sorry, I'm stupid. I can't read, apparently. Best Mustang body style right here. Don't at me. This is the best one, okay? I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. This is the best body style. This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club which offers you top shelf goods from under the radar brands, whether it be outdoor gear, styling, home and bar, and more. Today we have two boxes we are unboxing from Bespoke Post. I have no idea what's inside. They didn't tell me. They just sent me two random boxes. It's like Christmas all over again. So we're going to go ahead and open them up and take a look on what's inside. I'm going to go ahead and try to do this with one hand, but I'm going to start with the little box. We got the first Bespoke box right here. This is going to be very hard and very dangerous, so don't recreate this at home. Opening it up. If I can actually do that, we have another box, which is great. It's like a little Makushka, Makushka doll, the Russian dolls. Opening this box, we have Point Bespoke Post. So this box is a cleaned and classed up approach to your EDC. 
I'm not gonna read you this whole paragraph. I really wanna see what they sent, which is, it took me a second to understand what it was. It's a really fancy looking key ring. Next up, we have a pocket samurai. I wonder, I mean, we're gonna have to test how sharp it is, but it looks like a little utility knife for your keychain. Lastly, we have a Brass Captain Mini Twist. I don't know what that is, let's open it up. So opening it up, it is a really, I thought it was gonna be a flashlight, it is a really heavy, damn, like a really nice pen. Opening up the second box, I could actually use my Mini Samurai for this, so let's go ahead and gently cut it open. Again, don't know what's inside this one. Opening it up, it looks like it says half day right there. Let's go ahead and see what we got. So we got a card that says destination. So this looks like it's gonna be some sort of traveling suit bag or just a nice traveling bag in general. Let me go ahead and unwrap it. So in its duffel bag form, it looks like I'm ready to go rob a bank. It is a great size. You can use this for the gym or like I said before, carrying you know photography equipment, tools, whatever you need on the go. Bespoke Post believes that high quality goods don't have to carry high price tags. That's why their boxes are filled with a minimum of $70 worth of value, often more, but give it to their members for only $45. You guys get to gift yourself with something new each month. Each lineup is a limited run box, and if you don't like it, you could preview it, swap it, or exchange it, so you'll always love whatever you get. I don't know if you're like me, but I don't like having the same thing everyone else has. So if you're like me, Bespoke's got you covered. My favorite thing is you have flexibility. If you want to return, exchange, skip out, or cancel on a month, you have the option to do so. So if you don't like what you got, you can return it, exchange it, do whatever you like. No sweat, it's free to join, no commitments, and it's hassle free. If you want to check out one of these cool boxes, head to the link in my description and use code DREW20 to get 20% off your first box. Once you hit the link, scroll down to the bottom of the Bespoke homepage where you will be prompted to take a short quiz. This will allow them to tailor make your boxes to fit your interests so you can get whatever you like and you'll love it each month. Anyway guys, back to the video. Next car, someone was brave enough to submit their non-GT Mustang. You thought I went hard on that Camaro? You got another thing coming. Homeboy bought aftermarket wheels with the same tire profile as a stock one, so they just look like ass. It's actually a V6. You can tell because the pony has the tri bar underneath it. A lot of people were asking in my last video, how can you tell? If it's just a pony, it's a four banger. If it's a V6, it's just a stupid owner. Who buys a six cylinder Mustang? You know what though? At the same time, this is the one six cylinder Mustang I almost would recommend buying because it's the last one. Like they don't make them anymore. So. If you hold on to it, maybe one day, after you're long and dead, because it's going to be like a while, maybe one day it might be worth something. Maybe. Probably not. <coughs> RTR front grill, waste of money if it's on a fucking V6. Nice aftermarket wing, waste of money if it's on a V6. Cool wheels and tire setup, look like they're stock ass wheels and tires. Jesus Christ, if anyone Googled shitbox, this is what would pop up. How is this someone's, how do you drive this? I'm, I'm more concerned about your safety driving this thing. That wheel looks like it's about to fall off. What is this? Is it a drift missile? Is it a piece of shit? It's for sure salvage title. We all know that. Like underneath the hood looks somewhat decent, but what the fuck happened to your exterior, man? Did this thing get destroyed during the riots or what? Homeboy's oh still going to post it up on Facebook and be like, 10K, I know what I have. It's a Miata, man. It's, it's the one everyone wants. Pop-up headlights. So like the saddest looking pop-up headlights ever. Just put it out of its misery. And did, did I really read that correctly? He has a Godzilla front plate, dude. This, is, this wouldn't even be Godzilla's nut, like one of his nuts. Not both of his nuts. This wouldn't even be one of his nuts. So I, I'd take that shit off right away. At first, I was a little bit depressed by what I was looking at. I was like, Jesus, someone got a little bit overboard with their fucking, you know, Chevy Sonic. But then I looked underneath the hood, and he said he's pushing around 300 horsepower from this bad boy. Look how tiny this car is. And first of all, look, at, I mean, it's, it's really fucking thick, too. Like, I, I can't even really hate on it. Straight from South Africa looking pretty damn aggressive for what it is i mean it's a chevy spark or sonic whatever it is and he managed to make it look pretty damn sick now i don't get the whole tire stickers you know making it just say tire stickers we get what they are i mean maybe it was a, a you know sponsorship or something but props man i mean shit south africa car game go hard next car 1999 mazda rx7 owner claims 550 horsepower better show underneath the hood or else i ain't gonna believe shit interior looks rather clean i like the roll cage it looks like a pain in the ass to climb in and out but i like the roll cage steering wheel looks dope seats look pretty sick he didn't go too overkill so i like that looks like he's got work wheels i believe exterior looks nice again didn't go overkill but doesn't show underneath the hood maybe at one point it was 500 horsepower maybe he pushed it out just to take some photos maybe he needs some new fucking rotary seals or whatever they call them i think they're called like apex seals correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments rotary boys i know you guys probably stocked up on them for black friday sale because these things are pieces of shit 
Do yourself a favor. LS swap it. Or 2J swap it. Come to Sideways Performance. Rice or nice? Someone really spent their time sending me these photos. Like, I've been bored before, but I've never been bored enough to send a Kia Rio in for a, you know, car submission. <laughs> he really, like, he's got some nice photos. Like, don't get me wrong. These are clean, but it's a stock Kia Rio. Lowered lifestyle. Wait, 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 wait. Who the fuck is lowered? Because it ain't this car. What car did you steal that sticker off of? Fresh as fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's fresh as fuck? Because I know it's not this car. What car did you steal that sticker off of? Here we go. Finally, something interesting. Old school Mazda RX-7. Okay, how many of you guys got something like this? This shit? Look at that. Straight up out of the 70s. You never see these. Like, never. Okay, again, probably it's because it's a rotary, but still, you never see them. I watched a review on someone, like, driving it, and apparently they're slow as shit. I mean, I don't doubt it. But still, just as a little, like, fun cruiser. Fuck, man, I would take this through a canyon. 2019 Camry. What I don't get is, like, okay, so you buy the Camry, okay? You already plan on, oh, hey, look, ESRs. You already plan on, uh, you know, dumping a lot of money into it. I guess it does look sort of sick. Or I wouldn't say sick. I would say, like, clean. I don't think it looks sick, but it does look kind of clean. Sick is, like, you know, Supra, beadlocks, you know, cool shit. This just looks kind of clean. But you're in Texas. You're in the heart of fucking horsepower. And you're going to do this? I like the wheels. The car is okay. Whatever. <laughs> Homeboy sent in his mod list too? All right. Let's see what he listed. Weapon R race headers. All right. I, I, don't, I don't see them. But all right. I mean, they are underneath the hood, I would assume. Intake with spacer. Got to have it with that spacer. Am I right? You know, without that spacer, it's useless. But you got to have it with the spacer. Lightweight crank pulley. Ooh. How much horsepower are we getting out of that? Shit. 93 octane, no tune. Why even list it? You're, just, you're listing what gas you run? You know what would have been better than probably the stupid spacer? It's a fucking tune. Yeah, you're throwing your money down the drain tuning this thing, but still, I mean, you're already throwing it down the drain by trying to buy mods for it. It's running 235s. That's some weird flex, but okay. 19 inch wheels, Lexus headlights, blah, 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 blah. Moving on. Oh my God, man. Look at this photo. This has to be one of the more depressing photos I've ever seen. So we have a cool skyline right here. Okay, dope. All right, let's remove him from the equation. Let's take a look at what we got. Got like a Nissan Altima. <laughs> All right, got a Miata NA. All right, <laughs> we got like a, a GTI. A 370Z, looks like a fucking G37 sedan or something like that, some piece of shit. And a V6 Camaro, why? You guys are fucking cramping this guy's style right here, man. Try to take a guess of what car we're reviewing too. Try to take a guess. I doubt any of you guessed it, but we're reviewing the 370. Hmm, let me send in my pictures of my stock 370 and see what Drew thinks. Hmm, I'm only going to buy an aftermarket steering wheel. Hmm, my car is completely stock. Hmm, what do you want me to say? Like, why are you wasting my time, okay? Tell your Skyline friend to send me his photos, okay? I'll talk about that. Careful though, Drew, he's Redzilla. This ain't a GTR, okay? Chill, bucko. Next car, Ford Fiesta, subscriber rice or nice. He says it's got a straight pipe. Ooh, how good do you think this car sounds? Straight piped. Says he changed the color from green to purple and added the cool racing stripe. AEM intake, sparks, and wires. He didn't say spark plugs, he just said sparks. Junkyard aftermarket rims, cleans, sanded, and painted. Working on investing a little underneath the hood, even though it's just a fiesta. Here's a tip. Stop. Just stop. Stop. It's a fiesta. You said it yourself. Stop. Just milk the car, aka drive the shit out of it until you can save up and buy something better. You're literally shooting yourself in the foot modifying this car. Like no one ever in the world has ever said sick fiesta sedan. Like, I don't think anyone, I'm probably the first person ever to say that. I got to copyright it, okay? Here we go, 2004 Honda Civic Si. He wrote me a paragraph. I'm not going to read it. I feel like shit. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at his photos and roast him. He sent two of the same photos showing the same shitty front end. Like, come on. I want to see the mods. Vintage Momo steering wheel from my grandma. Well, you've just confirmed how old you are. We have a 17-year-old in the chat. Careful, guys. There's underage kids here. Full bolt-ons plus tune. He misspelled bolt-ons, so just saying. Rota RB wheels with Maxxis tires. Never heard of Maxxis. Lowering springs plus struts and shocks. Stripped from the front seats back. AC delete. You know what would have been great? If I could have seen that vintage Momo steering wheel that your grandma gave you. 
Instead, I'm taking a look at the shitty front bumper with the Thrasher sticker all over it. The car itself isn't that bad. I'm giving this kid a hard time. Nice little daily driver. Don't know why the wheels are red. Hmm. Subject said, my bomb ass car. She must have sent the wrong photos because I'm, I'm not seeing it. I mean, this is a fucking, what, Fiat? An Abrath or whatever? Arbarth? I mean, underneath the hood looks kind of cool. Like, you know, it's red. But, you know, must mean it's faster somewhat. But, I mean, you're driving around an oversized, fresher price toy. What is this even a photo of? Like, what am I looking at? It's like the most grainy photo ever. So, we got, like, this photo of underneath the hood. And then she felt the need to send a shittier photo of underneath the hood. Alright, guys. If Shoddy pulls up on you and this thing and she gaps you, what are you doing? You selling your car or are you jumping off a bridge? Let me know down in the comments. Rice or nice? Oh, look. It's another stock STI. Let me send him pictures of a stock STI. I'm, I'm sure he's never seen a stock STI. Hey, Drew, is a stock STI rice or nice? Is it? Is a stock STI? It's stock, Drew. Drew, is a stock STI rice or nice? Drew! Please stop sending me photos of your cars if they're stock and asking if they're rice or nice. They're fucking stock. It's neither. You know what? Actually, send me your stock cars. I'd rather look at a stock car than this. <laughs> this thing is disgusting. Look at that fucking fitment, man. Like, what kind of fucking Power Wheels monster truck bullshit is this? Like, whoever sold you those wheels and said they'd fit, they fucking lied to you. They don't fit, okay? It looks like ass. And I don't know if you think it looks cool, but um, to everyone else, it looks like ass. What is this clusterfuck of bullshit going on? I, like, it, did you do this? This looks disgusting. Like, all these fucking... Th what is this? This is just depressing. Homeboy literally sent, like, a thousand of his car. They're all his car. They're all the same piece of shit car. He really wanted me to call it bad. Finally, something, like, appealing to look at. God, carbon fiber. I think it's the first carbon fiber shit we've seen all episode, which makes me happy. Underneath the hood, no spoolie snail, but uh, if I'm correct, that ain't the right motor for underneath the hood. I could be wrong, okay, but usually on fucking Hondas, the intake's on the other side, so let me know. He doesn't say anything, and the photo is pretty grainy. But finally, someone that actually did something respectable to their car. All right, last car. Volkswagen GLI. And it's a Stancy boy. Look at that. Why even pop the hood? It's just a bunch of plastic bullshit. Like, why waste your time clipping and, un you know, popping it up? Like, don't even waste your time next time. Same with the trunk. Like, what's in your trunk? Like, air rides shit? No, no one cares. No one's like, dude, this guy's got wood floors in his trunk. Every time I see that, I'm like, dude, this guy's a fucking idiot. He's got wood floors in his trunk. Like, it's a car. It's not a house, okay? Sorry. Whoever started that trend of, like, putting wood floors and everything, like, it's stupid. Do it in carbon. Now, that's something I could tip my hat to. Waste all your money on that. Instead of going to Home Depot for your wood floors. Well, that'll do it. That'll wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know down in the comments. I didn't have the intention of roasting cars today, but I feel like ass. So, you know, if it happened, it happened. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. Anyways, subscribe to see more videos like this one. Use my link in the description to sign up for Bispoke and use my code DREW20. It'll really help out the channel and you'll get to treat yourself at the same time. Anyway, guys, until next video, peace.